How do you get such a light and fluffy sauce out of egg yolks and butter? Well, that's the secret of hollandaise. What we're going to do is to beat air into the egg yolks and then add the butter. And that air is what makes it light and fluffy. The trick is how to cook the egg yolks without scrambling them. In this video, I'll show you how. First, we're going to start with clarifying the butter. Butter is made of three components. It has butter fat, which is the yellow part, milk solids, which are white, and a little bit of water. So in clarifying them, we're separating out the milk solids from the butter, and that gives you more control over the final sauce. So here you can see we have some milk solids at the top, which we want to skim off with a spoon. We let it sit for a few minutes after melting it so that most of the white solids go to the bottom. All right, so now we've got almost all of these in here. So now we're going to pour this into the measuring cup. And what we want to do is leave behind whatever water and milk solids are left. You see, you can start to see them now. Pouring off as much of the butter fat as we can. Sometimes if you go back and forth, it helps a little. And then leaving behind the white milk solids and some water. Now we're going to work with the egg yolks. And we're going to cook them over barely simmering water, or even if it's under simmering, just hot water. So we can really control the amount of heat coming to our egg yolks so we can cook them without scrambling. A tablespoon of lemon juice will add flavor. The amount of water you use depends on what you want your finished sauce to be like. The more water you have, the more pourable the sauce will be. You can add as little as a teaspoon, but we're adding two tablespoons. And we'll add a quarter teaspoon of salt, which also helps the emulsion. So now we're going to move over to the water, which is barely simmering. So now we're going to whisk the egg yolks. You see that right now it's very loose, but you see the bubbles that are starting to happen. That's the air that I'm whisking into the egg yolks. As the egg yolks thicken, they will trap those air bubbles and set up a really nice base for adding the butter. So it's starting to get thicker and fluffier. And soon I'll be able to start to see the streaks of the whisk at the bottom. And that's what I'm looking for. Then I know I'm ready for the next step, which is adding the butter. And every now and then, you can scrape down the sides to make sure to get everything in the bowl and there's no egg yolk around the edge to overcook. OK, I think we're good now. I can just start to see streaks at the bottom. And we're ready to move on to the next step. So we're going to take the bowl off the heat and put it on another pan with a cloth on it just to hold it easily in place. But we're finished applying heat. Now we're just going to add the butter slowly so it emulsifies with the egg yolks. If you go too fast, it can break. And if you put more butter than it can handle, it can also break. But this is a good amount of butter to add. You shouldn't have any problems. We want to keep this nice emulsification that we have going. If you add the butter too quickly, hollandaise will break, but never fear, you can fix it. Whisk in a little cold water. I'm starting with just a teaspoon, but you can add up to two tablespoons. Whisk it in small circles until you see a little pool of re-emulsified sauce. Now whisk larger circles to bring in the broken sauce and re-emulsify it with the sauce in the center. Once it's fixed, you can continue whisking in the rest of the butter. OK. We've added all our butter. Then at the end, for a little extra lemon flavor, we'll add the lemon zest. So now we have our hollandaise sauce. Now I'll pour it into a little pitcher to serve. And you see it's lovely, light, and lemony. Just what you want.